G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode of Explore Rigs. Now this is an exciting one. We are in the Explore HQ. I'll tell you what, the garage is looking a little bit empty. So I figured I need to fill this spot. We got the ultimate touring rig. We built that and it well and truly outperformed every one of my expectations last year on the road. The big 79, don't worry, it's not going anywhere just yet. With a bit of luck, we might have two builds coming this year and we're off to pick up our first one. Now, this is gonna be a little bit of fun. This is gonna be a truck we're gonna build to get out there. I wanted to get back to some of that harder wheeling. You guys have been asking for it, that Coffs Harbour, uh, that Glasshouse Mountain sort of four wheel driving. So, let's go and get in the 79. We've got a couple of Ks to lay today. Stay with us as we take you along for the journey and the full build of the new car for 2022. Let's go. Righto, well we're on the road. We've left the Gold Coast. We're making our way out to Gibby. I actually come up here last week and had a look at this vehicle. I was umming and ah and the initial thought was to uh, have something that was going to make a bucket load of noise and uh, have a real carry on. But this is a good sort of in-betweener. I'm not going to give away too much, but I wanted something to get out and get stuck into the heart of wheeling, like I was saying before. I said we built the Ultimate Tourer and we did, and I, this thing outperformed every one of my expectations last year. We're gonna keep it. I don't know if we're gonna keep it all year, so stay tuned. We're still making our mind up. We've got another big idea in the pipeline, which you'll have to wait and see. Uh, but I'm gonna keep this one as our touring vehicle, and we may be swapping it for another touring vehicle uh, later in the year. So let us know in the comments if you were to swap the 79 for any touring vehicle, what do you think I should swap it for? But as for this one, this one's gonna be my play truck. This is gonna be my toy. I'm not into bush bashing, but there is a lot of technical uh, tracks out there that I'd like to get stuck into. So, Coffs Harbour, Glasshouse Mountains, not being afraid to jam it through a couple of big mud holes. And if it's off, off the road for, for a little bit every now and again, it's not as big a concern. I love the 79, but at the end of the day, uh, gravity is a real thing and trying to push four ton up steep hills it's just not what this truck was built for so we got about another hour or so I'm getting excited stay tuned and let's see what the uh, the new toy is oh I've just rocked up I'm actually pretty excited I've always wanted a GU Ute uh, to be honest I wanted all I just told you what it was. <laughs> there you go. The cat's out of the bag by accident. Let's go have a look. I ruined the surprise. Well, the cat's out of the bag. I ruined it well and truly ruined that, didn't I? But um, I'm in the new bus at the moment. Um, we've just done the paperwork and all the dribble. I thought I'd get out of their front yard. So we're just gonna go find a nice little spot to pull up now so I can show you guys exactly what we've got. But it is a GU Ute. There may have been a few people guess now. I've wanted a GU Ute for a very long time. Um, the very first ever Explore Life vehicle that we filmed any content in was actually a GU Wagon back about six years ago now. And if you've been following along, you'll know we have a GU Wagon as a camera car as well. So I love my GUs. I'll give you the full rundown on what this is. We'll tell you how much we bloody paid for it, all that sort of thing. Because as far as ultimate, first four-wheel drives go especially if you want to get out and do some of your harder wheeling i believe this is it this is um this is what i wish i had bought as a young fella and i bought the wagon which was awesome for touring and look it, it was it was bloody amazing but this has just always been something for me in the back of my mind about a gu ute i always wanted a dirty filthy 4.2 tractor now, I'm not saying this is a 4.2, you'll have to wait and find out. Not only is this going to be great for the Explorer touring around and um, doing the hardcore wheeling, but just to have a ute and the ability to um, be able to throw a heap of gear in the back, throw a dirt bike in the back, even just bloody the amount of stuff we have to transport uh, to and from shows, the ute is going to come in so handy in just so many different ways. So, uh, bloody excited. I'll go find somewhere nice to pull up. So you're just sick, sick of hearing me dribble by now. I'm sure you want to just see what it is. So here we go, let's find somewhere. I'm straight into a massive hill climb. <laughs> I found a little sidetrack. We're trying to find somewhere nice to film and uh, there's a massive hill climb here. So 
We've had the car for a grand total of 10 minutes and uh, she's in low range. It's how we do it at the Explore Life. I actually have no idea where this track goes. So um, I've got Sam, my video guy behind me in the big 79. He's gonna have to send it up this hill as well. So it'll be a little bit interesting. Let's, uh, let's get stuck in. <laughs> Here it is, the new bus. It's a uh, 2008 model GU Patrol twin turbo. It is the common rail diesel and it's a twin turbo. You're probably thinking, what's going on there? So this is the little point of difference that we managed to pick up with this truck. Um, it is running a compound turbo setup, um, which is exactly what we were after. We ummed and ahed whether we wanted to go big V8, uh, whether we wanted to go 4.2, and when this thing sort of came up, we went perfect. It's a perfect platform for us to build upon. We were hoping to chase a vehicle that was a little bit more stock. Uh, it does have a few bits and pieces, but guys, we're basically gonna start from scratch. Everything's gonna come off this. It's gonna go back to being a cab chassis, and we're going to do a ground up rebuild. So let us know right now in the comments uh, if there's any gear that you think we should be throwing on this. But um, let's do a quick walk around now. I'll just show you what's on the truck, because I tell you what, like I was saying in the car, as far as a uh, first car or a great weekend touring truck, this, in my opinion, is an absolute perfect start and look we paid look we paid 22 grand for this thing guys um we did hunt around a little bit it's a tough time to buy let me tell you there's not a lot on the market with all the covid tax going on but this is just a good honest gu ute uh that we picked up out on a farm and old mate just loved tinkering he wanted a bit more power out of the three liter and um he's sort of gone to town on this thing with the compound turbo setup but let's do a quick walk around so up front it's just a factory Nissan bar painted white. He's put a set of scrub bars on the side with your uh, with your steps there, which I do love. It's a little bit rusty in a couple of little spots. Uh, only a little surface rust. It's actually a very clean truck. It's done bugger all beach work, this thing, if any. Um, the chassis is absolutely immaculate. The crew's around the front. He's got a set of roo lights up the front. They're gonna be going. Uh, he does have a winch. He's already got the GME aerial up front. Um, in the white, the whole car is white. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna change the color, guys. Uh, so let us know in the comments as well. What color do you reckon we should do the new uh, GU rig? Do we color match it to the 79 and get a bit of a theme going? Uh, or do we go something completely different? Let us know. Still got the factory, uh, factory snorkel on, that'll go. We'll have a safari on. It's running uh, 33 inch tires at the moment. A set of Coopers with some MT, um, MT rims. They're gonna go. I'm not a fan of either of them, so they're gone. Um, the side mirrors, guys, we'll end up putting a set of MSA side mirrors on, that's for sure. And uh, out the back is just your standard tough steel white tray. So um, you're going to have a lot of fun in this thing, and as it is now, this thing will go just about anywhere. Uh, it is running uh, a two-inch lift. It's got a three-inch straight-through exhaust, which we'll, uh, we'll, we may end up keeping that. We'll see how we go. But... The chassis is clean, the body is clean, there's only a couple of small little uh, little hail dints in it. The rest of it's pretty well immaculate um, as far as buying a 2008 model car goes. So we'll pop the hood, I'm going to give you a sneak peek under this hood, but um, we need to take it in, we're going to get it all tuned up, we'll run you through all the power figures uh, with that side of the build. So this is just an intro, there is going to be a full build series guys, I'm bloody excited. All right guys, so this is where the magic happens. This is where I got a little bit excited when I seen this and a little bit of a point of difference. And it was actually the perfect combo for what I was chasing. So there's a few things that are a little bit rough and I'm gonna make sure this all gets tidied up and should be Mickey Mouse. But uh, compound turbo, for anyone who doesn't know what a compound turbo is, basically these were a uh, single turbo to start from. Compound turbo is essentially a twin turbo setup. So your air comes straight in through your big turbo, gets turbocharged into your next turbo and, uh, and 
turbocharge again before it gets shot into the motor there. So the benefits of this is really for that low down. It means you've got none of that lag. It's spooling up nice and quick. Um, and you, you can tell when you drive this thing, it's got pickup down low and then it just keeps on pulling. So the other major change other than the compound turbo is obviously uh, they are a top mount intercooler. Top mount intercooler's come off and we're running a full front mount intercooler setup uh, just to pump that air in and keep her a little bit cooler. So this thing is actually beautiful to drive as is um, and it's running basically a standard tune. He did have it tuned right up and I sort of know the capabilities of what this can do. So um, I'm pretty excited to get this thing cleaned up and, uh, and tuned up because it's going to be a little powerhouse. We've just jumped inside. Uh, she is pretty bog stock in here, which is uh, what we're chasing. But it's in pretty good nick. Uh, the seats are going to be going. We'll do a little bit with the interior, but not a lot. Um, I can see Shielman seats are probably going to go straight in. I'm sort of obsessed with them uh, in the 79. But dash is clean. Uh, it doesn't have any cracking or bubbling or anything like that. So it does also have the GME um, UHF. That will probably get upgraded just because I'm obsessed with the XRS unit. So that'll come out, which will make way for a bigger head deck. We'll upgrade the stereo system in this thing. We're going to do it all. It is, it's all going to go on. I'm bloody excited, but there we have it. The STGU Common Rail Twin Turbo. I'm bloody excited, guys. I really am so excited. I've always wanted a ute. I really have. So, look, let's be honest. We've got to get out there, and uh, as soon as this is built, we've got, to, we've got to show Sam Miles how it's done and how to really drive a GU. So, we'll stir him up a little bit. Well, guys, there we go. That's the new bus. I'm pretty sure you can tell how excited I am from that. But we're going to have a little bit of fun right now. Let us know in the comments, what do you reckon we should name the new Explore GU? And I tell you what, if you are the winner uh, and we end up calling it that, we're going to give you a $200 voucher. So with a bit of luck, you guys can get creative and uh, we'll name this big fat rig and uh, we'll give you, the winner, a $200 gift voucher to the Explore Life online store. Let us know in the comments as well. What do you reckon? Should we got a GU? Should we got something different? Let us know. Make sure you smash that like button. We really appreciate it. Shout out to all of our subscribers, you bunch of legends. Turn that bell on so you don't miss the build series. Till next time, make sure you get out and enjoy the Explore Life. What's going on guys? Hope you enjoyed the latest episode. Now look, we're just jumping on here to give you a bit of a friendly reminder. The National Brisbane 4x4 show is coming up and we're finally gonna be there. Uh, we've missed it the last two years, traveling Australia plus COVID. It is one of the biggest shows, uh, full drive shows in the whole of Australia. It's definitely my favorite, it's my home turf. So uh, we're gonna have the 79 series down there along with our big merch tent. We're bringing everything. We've got all the merch coming down along with all of our camping gear. We're even gonna have Dean from the Bush Company on our stand. He's bringing down his brand new car, um, plus he'll have all the tents and awnings on display for you guys to jump in and out of and have a carry on. Now the best part is guys, we've got a discount code uh, for you guys to put in, um, so make sure, buy your tickets online, that way you don't have to line up and uh, pay on the day. So use the code EXPLORE4x4, you'll get 15% off online. We're going to have daily giveaways, anyone that comes down and say, says g'day and buys any of our uh, products is going to go in the draw to win uh, prizes that day. We're gonna draw them that day on the stand. It's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun, guys. You got the biggest names in the industry, the biggest boats, uh, the biggest caravans. Everyone's gonna be down there. So um, I'm bloody excited. Can't wait to see you there.